was good chat. I ain't even late. One to ten. Let How me we doing, ladies and gentlemen? I'm back. Oh yeah, this will work. Okay, this will work. Yeah. Yeah, this will work right here. Chat, this works, right? 100% it does. Yeah. Yeah, this works. Chat, lock in. We're going to get to the bottom of this. Thanksgiving food topic here. First off, what is this? Is that like some cake action? Can you even consider that Thanksgiving food? I don't even think you can consider that Thanksgiving food, can you? No? That, that, that's got to stay in here. We can't consider that like, that's just cake. Who has red velvet cake on Thanksgiving, chat? Think about it. Who in here eats red velvet cake on Thanksgiving? Nobody does. Yo, pack with the five W pack. Okay, if y'all do then, I'm going to go ahead and throw it an A. Biscuits. Biscuits are an S. But again, it's not because it, dinner rolls. Dinner rolls are good. Dinner rolls are an A. Above this cake right here. Because dinner rolls are absolutely great. But they don't met they don't go in S with the biscuit action. But you do know what goes in S with the biscuit action? These Hawaiian rolls. We are throwing those in S any day of the week. Dude, if you oh my goodness. If you have never had sliders made out of Hawaiian rolls, you are completely missing out. I mean, dude. What's next? Croissants. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and throw croissants, croissants, and a right behind. Okay, Brussels sprouts. That's obviously a D. Butternut squash. Don't know who's eating that, but okay. Cranberry sauce is a D. And there will be no discussion held, buddy. You know what's crazy, too? I mess with cranberry juice, but cranberry sauce? Nah, man. Nope. Nope. And look what look at it. Look at this. Jellied cranberry. That's going in D too. Green bean casserole. That's going at the top of A. Green bean casserole is going at the top of a. I I literally don't care. Green bean casserole, like if if it's made on Thanksgiving, it carries when it comes to like main courses. Right, it's good, man. Green bean casserole. If you've never had it, roast turkey. We're gonna go ahead and throw that and see. Turkey's too dry. It's mid. Cornbread. I don't like cornbread either. I'm gonna throw cornbread and see right behind roast turkey. Corn on the cob? You know what? I'll throw corn on the cob and B if it's done right. Okay, I'm cooking right now. Cornbread is better than rolls? Oh, you're off your rocker. Oh my goodness, you've completely lost it. If you think cornbread is better than rolls. As a person who was from the south, from Arkansas... Nah, cornbread ain't that good. It ain't that good, I'm sorry. Spinach, okay, let, okay, yeah. Cream spinach, uh-huh. Asparagus, uh-huh. Cream corn, hold on now. Cream corn is good. I would eat some cream corn before I ate some roast turkey, so I'm going to throw cream corn at the at the front of seat. White gravy, that's another S. Matter of fact, that's an S. Second best thing on the entire list so far. 
Brown gravy goes right behind it. Goaded. It's too good. Yo, Com with the 16 months. Yo, General Electrics with the 25 gifted. Give me some W's for General Electrics with the 25 gifted. W General Electrics with the 25 gifted subs. I appreciate you, General Electrics. Thank you, W General Electrics. I appreciate you. Spiral Ham. D. Ham. D. Smoked Turkey. C. Right behind Roast Turkey. Matter of fact, I'm putting Smoked Turkey in front of Roast Turkey. I don't care. Y'all can sit. All you ham eaters can get mad all you want to. I don't care. Ham is nasty. Busting loose with the five. Thanksgiving ham? Nasty. Don't care. It's, it's like, and I'm not, it's not even one of those, chat, listen. It's not even one of those situations to where it's like, nah, it's kind of mid. No, it is one of those situations to where it's like, it's actually nasty. Is what I'm trying to say. It's not even like, ah, ham is mid. I don't really like it. No. It's truly disgusting. And I will I will literally, I, there's, you know what I mean? Most people don't like ham. The only people that are outraged at this is like not very many people. Not many people like ham. Matter of fact, peep this. We Okay, talk about it then. Okay. Do you like ham? Bro, I just canceled it, bro. Yo, Bustin' Loose with another five gifted W. Bustin' Loose Chambers with the five as well. Hold on. Do you like ham? Watch. It's going to say majority no. It'll say majority no. Okay, never mind. It's just a rig poll then. I don't know what y'all are talking about. Like, dude, I can now look. I can eat some ham... In like a ham and cheese hot pocket or like a ham and cheese sandwich with some mayo on it. But if we're sitting here talking about ham that you would have on Thanksgiving, it's nasty. It's gross. It, it, it's it's hideous. <clears throat> like I would go as far as to say like Pig products ain't that good in general, aside from sausage. Yo, Odin's with the 10 gifted. W Odin's with the 10 gifted. W Odin's. Bacon? Bacon's overrated. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's not. I could, I could go the rest of my life without eating bacon again. And not be hurt. 100%. Now, I would be, like, depressed if I couldn't have, like, sausage ever again. But bacon, I could literally go the rest of my life and not eat bacon and, like, be like, okay, whatever. Right? There's, there, there, you know. I mean, come on now. Type one if you agree. What's next? Mac and cheese, easy S. Easy S, but it does not come before brown gravy. Mac and cheese, easy S. Baked mac and cheese? Mmm. I don't know that baked mac and cheese is better than regular mac and cheese. I'm not going to lie. Mac and cheese, not over brown gravy. Are you for real? Yes, I'm for real. Bra I could literally drown in brown gravy. So y'all are y'all go go ahead and say that baked mac and cheese is better than okay. We'll go and put baked mac and cheese right here. Now this is probably gonna hurt a lot of people's feelings right now, but uh, mashed potatoes is the literal front of everything. Mashed potatoes is the best thing on this list so far. Don't care. 
mashed potatoes is the best thing on this list so far. It clears all of that. A good, a good, a good bowl of mashed potatoes, dude. I mean, you can't beat it. You can't. Baked potato. I don't like baked potatoes, bro. They're too difficult to eat, and they're not. And you might, if you're gonna eat a baked potato, just eat mashed potatoes. I'm gonna put baked potato all the way right here. It's barely gonna be in front of cornbread. Not gonna lie. Baked potatoes are just mid. Yo, super with the five thousand bits. W super. Dude, I don't know why y'all acting like. I don't know why y'all. Okay, uh, by the way, solid D right here. I don't know why y'all are acting crazy about baked potatoes. No. Okay, look. Dude, they're mid. Baked potatoes are mid. There's no discussion. Stop. Okay, green beans. Ooh. Green beans, bro. I'm not going to lie, chat. I think I got a good set of green beans right here in front of dinner rolls. I'm not going to lie. Green beans are so good when they're done right. They're, they're truly insanely good when they're done right. Okay, peas, the worst thing on this list. By far, that is the worst thing on this list. Maybe the worst thing on the planet. Uh, cabbage, yeah, throw it back here. Fried oyster mushrooms. Who eats the, what? I'm going to throw it D because I don't know what this is. Deviled eggs. You know what, chat? I might have to throw deviled eggs right here behind corn on the cob, dude. Okay, stop. Okay, don't start saying S. Relax. They ain't that good. Okay, stop. Yo, super with the 15 gifted. W super with the 15 gifted. Appreciate you, super. W super. Appreciate that, super, for real. Chat, now look, deviled eggs ain't bad, but are they S tier? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Fried turkey. Okay, I'll put fried turkey right in front of corn on the cob. That's the highest it's going is B. That's the highest it'll go. I don't know what this is, but it's disgusting. Uh, I don't drink wine. I don't drink cider spiced. I don't drink whatever. Wait, is this Welsh's orange juice right, or uh, juice right here? Dude, I think this is like the Welch's like grape juice and stuff, right? That's got to be S. I'm going to put it in S. Back of... Whoa! Uh-uh. This is going back of S. Okay, here's where here's where feelings start getting hurt right here. Stuffing. Yo, Sky with the 10, get the W, Sky with the 10, get the appreciate you, Sky. Stuffing. It ain't good. It ain't good. It, it literally, it ain't good. Stuffing is just a bunch of garbage thrown into a pot, mixed together, and cooked. Stuffing is the most outdated food literally ever. I, well, we call it dressing, but it's bad. Ruby with the five. It ain't the worst thing, though. You you're right. It ain't the worst thing. So, but you know, so so you know what?
I'll put it at the front of D. It goes at the very front. Y'all cool with that? Very front of D? I'll put Dresden at the very front of D. Bottom of C? Back of C? I'll go back of C, bro. Sausage stuffing? I don't know what this is, but I can guarantee you it's better than regular stuffing. I would throw this right here in front of cornbread. Potato casserole sounds disgusting. Uh, chat, why is there something called booty noodles? What is that? What are booty noodles? Hello? It's chitlins. Okay, yeah, D. Goodbye. That's exactly what it is. It's chitlins. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's chitlins, yeah. That makes sense. Booty noodles. That's gross. That's nasty, dude. Okay, we got potato salad. I liked this when I was younger. I don't like it anymore. I think it's gross. But is it the worst thing here? No, it's not. So I'm going to go ahead and put potato salad at the front of D. Y'all cool with that? Pumpkin pie, mid. Candied yams, never had it, looks mid. Apple pie. Throw apple pie right here. Pecan pie, second best thing on the list. Do not care. Splacon pie, goaded. Pecan pie is so good. It is so good. It's 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 insane. The only people in here saying ooh or L take, you've never had pecan pie. There's no way. You know what? I'm going to go and say this, and I'm going to say this as a statistical fact. This isn't an opinion. It is impossible for somebody to eat a piece of pecan pie and not like it. It's impossible. That that is literally it's not possible for somebody to take a bite of pecan pie and think it's bad. I don't care who you are, I don't care where you're from, I don't care anything at all ever. There's not a single person on this planet that would ever have a piece of pecan pie and think it's bad. What if I'm allergic? It's worth dying for, it's that good. Sweet potato pie going in D. Peach cobbler is okay. I'll throw peach cobbler like I'll throw peach cobbler like right here. And banana pudding is an S as well. I'm gonna put banana pudding right here. So chat. Thanksgiving tier list. As you can tell from what I said earlier, most Thanksgiving food is mid because there is literally three rows of D. Bad list. There's no way you can say that. I'm sorry, but there's no way you... The only thing that I would even think about changing is pecan pie and biscuits. Everything else is irreversible. This is irre... Everything else is irreversible. Bro eats no protein. That's exactly my point. All of the main courses on Thanksgiving suck. It is a shame that all of the sides are the best thing. That has always been my argument. All of the side items are the only thing that's good on Thanksgiving. Period. All the main stuff is mid. Roast turkey, mid. Smoked turkey, mid. Stuffing, you know, stuffing, mid. It's just, you know? Period. 
Like when I'm at Thanksgiving, dude, all I'm getting is like, I'm getting some mac and cheese. I'm getting some mashed potatoes. I'm gonna get me some roll action. I might, I might take a piece of turkey, and then that's it. I'm just gonna straight up eat that. I, you, you're better off, chat. You're literally better off, like stopping by KFC on the way to the function and bringing some KFC than eating Thanksgiving food. Yo, Sev Severe with the 5,000 bits. Are you rage baiting or just haven't had good had good cooked Thanksgiving food? No, nah, my grandma always was a great cook. Thanksgiving food just sucks. I don't care who. I don't care who's, uh, I don't care who's, uh, making it. It sucks. You could have Gordon Ramsay walk in here and cook me some Thanksgiving food. I wouldn't like it because it's mid- there is nothing that you can do to some ham to make it good. It don't matter who's cooking it. It's just bad. The same thing with stuffing. At its core, it's bad. Same thing with turkey. It's just, it's eh. The, like I said, the only type of ham that I'm sucking down... It's like on a, like, like some, like, you know, like a cold cut sandwich or something. Now, I can mess with some, like, ham on, like, a cold cut sandwich, like, thin cuts. You know what I mean? But it ain't even worth killing a pig. These pigs out here running around, <laughs> getting speared so we can have some ham. I'm good on that. Ain't no way. You might as well just keep them. Just let them live. Because, buddy, it ain't worth killing a pig over some ham. Now, the only thing worth killing a pig over is sausage. So, for that, I'm sorry, pigs. Y'all gonna keep getting killed. You know, but if it wasn't, if it wasn't for sausage, just let them all live. Bacon, like I said a minute ago, I could go the rest of my life without eating bacon. Hot dogs, buddy. I said sausage is the only thing I couldn't, like, willingly give up. Chat, think about it. Every other... What'd this dude just say? What did this absolute goober just type in here? Shrine with the five. You're the only big guy in the world who doesn't like bacon. Yo, Chris, I never said I don't like bacon, dude. Do I like bacon? Yeah. I could eat some bacon and be like, okay, that's pretty good. But is it disgustingly overrated? And could I go the rest of my life without having it? Absolutely. Matter of fact, I maybe have bacon once a year to start with. Honestly. That, that's how much I don't care about bacon. And, and even then, no, cracklins are good too. Y'all ever had cracklins? 